fix. Hello, friends, and welcome to another episode of Talking with Fans People. Today's intriguing and shocking title Typology in Crisis. Typology in Crisis. Why is typology in crisis? Well, because there are still people in the world who disagree with me. That's why. It's really just that simple. As long as there are those who disagree with me and what I have to say about typology, typology will always be in crisis. Are you okay, my precious yes, wonder? That painful. looks very painful. Can you go put some more aloe upon your bloody <sighs> finger? Yes. Um, yes, it's true. Typology is is the one true path to human salvation. Yet, we are being led astray by false prophets of typology and their wicked ways. That's why typology is in crisis. Wait, don't go. I said to the person number three. Ah, this guy's full. Ah, wait, wait. I said to person number two as I go away. This guy's blowing hot air. I am not blowing hot air. I'm blowing hot smoke. The hot smoke of truth. I am smoking your Thanksgiving turkey of wonder with the hot burning smoke of truth. Do you know what the flavor of the hot burning smoke of truth is? It tastes a lot like cinnamon. Very, very much like cinnamon. Why did I drop that? There. So, you know, busy day, busy times, busy friends, busy ways. It's the season of giving. It's the season of receiving. It's the holiday season upon us. This is Thanksgiving week. We're going to be having a major holiday here in America um, on Thursday. It's the, uh, the day in which we devote our attention to celebrating our having civilized the savages and um, uh, a day for the savages to give thanks to us for having civilized them, I suppose. So, um, you know, a lot of people think, hey, maybe it wasn't so nice of the Europeans to come and take over everybody's land. Hi, Kenton Davy. And then maybe somebody else is all like, well, that's what you get for not having advanced weaponry. And then, uh, yeah, you got a point there. You got a point. That is what we get. We totally deserve that for not having advanced weaponry. Oh, I know. Those fools, right? You fools need a little less hunting and gathering and a little bit more militarization. A little less maize and a little more musket, if you know what I'm saying. A little bit, a little less smooth integration with nature, and a little more smallpox resistance. Word. You can't just bring maize to a Thanksgiving feast and expect everybody to be okay with it. Maze. I'm not impressed by your maze. Okay? You didn't even farm it. You didn't even farm it. You put a seed in the ground, you buried a fish underneath it, and you come back six months later. Hey, look, some of the corns grew. That's not farming. That's not farming. You, you, what do they call them? Wander around people. Uh, you, Migrant savages? It's not farming. Anybody can tell that. You know, it's like, how do you think 
the Indians got turkeys. They went out and caught one from the wild. I think the pilgrims got turkeys. They grew them on a farm. Who had a more guaranteed chance of getting a turkey for in time for Thanksgiving dinner? Well, why do you think the Indians were only able to bring maize? What? How the heck am I doing? I'm doing just fine. Today we're discussing the crisis in typology, which I don't know if you've heard of Winston's mom. It is absolutely critical that we resume, resolve this crisis as forthwith as possible. There are people in the world who disagree with me still about typology without even a speck of shame associated with their disagreement. For as long as that remains the case, typology will be in crisis. For as long as there are those out there who disagree with Eric and continue to make their case, even though they're wrong, ignoring what I'm saying, typology shall remain in crisis. For as long as there are ESFPs who can get away with calling themselves ENCPs, typology shall be in crisis. For as long as FI convinces the wrong one that they too are that most rare of types, the INFJ, typology shall be in crisis. So it is spoken, so it is said, so it is true. Wherever there is vaultology, I shall be there to say bullshit. Wherever there is metaphor masquerading as good thinking, I will be there to say no. Wherever there are ESFPs who insist that you don't know me, I'll say yes, I do. You're an ESFP. This I do here is all. This is an inspiring speech. I, very inspiring. Yeah, I could tell. I was I was starting to feel the inspiration. Well, for as long as it is true that in this world, something that happened last night can happen, where Sean O'Neill actually says, after listening to him for some stretch of time, that David Sanderson is an ENTP, for as long as that can possibly happen in this world, and anybody continue to think Sean O'Neill saying, I am here. I am here to say no, Sean O'Neill. That is absolute nonsense. You know, Sean O'Neill did a te an any test on David Sanderson purportedly, and David Sanderson did fine enough on this. It's just not an any test, even. It's just something I've been starting to do to see, just to play around with the idea. And he's like, well, there you go, ENTP. I'm like, Sean, <coughs> you did that better than he did that. <coughs> and he's like, well, you know, that's just because <coughs> I'm a particularly, as an ENTP, I mean, as an ENTP, I just have particularly good, as an individual person, my ENE is just like, like, no, Sean O'Neill. Sean O'Neill's an ENFP. I mean, I, I said that. I meant ENFJ. Oh. Can you go into your characterization of eighth slot as balanced as opposed to demon all of you? Uh, well, what I would say is it's an area of um, insecurity, primarily because you feel as though you use it correctly, and yet you don't feel as though it is, you are validated as though you use it correctly. And the reason you feel as though you use it correctly is because it's always in the service of your dominant. It's never, your usage of SE never really, or not SE, your usage of your eighth slot never really conflicts with your prioritizations or values. However, <coughs> you also don't like to, <coughs> you don't like to um, be pressured on your eighth slot at all. Because you do have a balance, so you don't want other people to push on it at all. You feel like you're handling it just as it ought to be handled. So uh, that doesn't mind. It doesn't mean you don't mind a little assistance out again. 
So I, I think Rachel doesn't mind when I say, are you hungry or whatever? But yeah, she, too. I tell you, one of the things she came in like strong about before she realized that nobody cared around here was that, um, that she not be encouraged or pushed to eat more than she wants to at any given moment. Yeah. That it'd be okay for her to take two bites of something and throw the rest away or whatever. Yeah. Um, I, that was never a thing around I here anyway, but like, that was a thing at her house. So, yeah. um, Anyway, um, so what I would say about that is it's partially the demon thing in that from a third party's perspective, or maybe from your own perspective even, uh, you'll fail on that vector in critical ways and in critical moments that from a third party's perspective especially will appear to be um, de being your demon, so to speak, your Achilles heel or something. What's an Italian thing? Running Fox. I like eating watermelon. <laughs> no. Let's be real. Let's be real. We know who likes the watermelon. The Jews? No. What? Everybody! Oh, everybody. Watermelon fans is what yeah. I was going to say. <laughs> Um, but she doesn't have a braid. Does I she? was braiding. I was braiding my hair. Oh. You know, I, I have to say, Running Fox, I was, I don't know if I mentioned this on the live stream before when you were around, but the day I was riding in the car and Rachel and I were driving to the police store, we were rocking out of the car, and I thought, she looks pretty damn cool like this. Thank you, yeah. Bay. If you're familiar with that song, um, I'm Losing My Edge by mm -hmm. LCD okay. Sound System. This is Rachel striking back against that notion of Thank edge you. loss. Yes, hey. I am a 35-year-old blue-haired woman. These teenagers were kind of making fun of me <laughs> in the in the store. I was like looking at hair, like so prices and stuff. And uh, this like young kid with his like girlfriend, you know, maybe like not there yet. Um, or like you know, maybe something, but anyway, uh, he was like, you should dye your hair lizard green. And she was like, no, she was like, he was like, you should dye your hair lizard green. I was like, I was like, yeah, go for it, I guess. <laughs> um, so David Sanderson, did you hear the big news last night from Sean O'Neill? You are apparently yeah, an ENTP. According to Sean O'Neill, you're an ENTP. What do you think? Yeah, what do you think, David Who Sanderson? Who here thinks David Sanderson's an ENTP? Ooh. My butt. Your butt did vote. My butt votes yay on Operation on Proposition That. My heart votes yes on Proposition That. <laughs> it's possible. No, I must. Yeah, of course not. Did I type him? Uh, I don't think so. But I don't think I typed him formally. But I'm I'm pretty confident he's an ENFJ. Now the thing is, I mean, what are you thinking other than ENFJ? Oh. I got, of course, I got a poop coming. No, <laughs> well, I'm here. David Sanderson, you're not an ENTP. You're almost certainly an INTJ. I, uh, Thank you, I want to, I want to revisit the, I want to revisit the issue of introverted intuition with you in general and try to ask you some questions that reveal introverted intuition that don't, that don't use the rat test specifically. And, uh, I also want to um, I want to be able to talk to you without uh, without like other parties interrupting and interfering with my typing of you because Sean's in, involvement in that was uh, was very much uh, 
contraindicative of progress getting paid. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I can type you, sure. Um, oh, I got to poop. I can hold a fort. Okay. I think there is for one more bomb right before I go. Definitely. What do you think about the um, high octane? I think it's pretty stony. Yeah, it is. Let me try this. I'm sorry if, like, I talked you out of getting that instead. Okay, cool. No, I think okay, it worked out perfectly the way I, I haven't tried this stuff yet, but this stuff smells better. Yeah, it's sticky too a little bit. That's Let's good. See. I really want your judgment call. I like uh, trying new reads with Irk because mm -hmm. he like knows the weed. You know what I mean? The sort of mellow pixie dream girl looks good in your age. Thank you. Mm. I've dyed my hair many colors, um, and this is the first time it's. Um, I don't know if it has soy in it. Uh, um, Running Fox, look up, uh, Google the company, and it'll tell you everything about it. But I'll even say that the bleach that I used had all natural ingredients. It was insane. Like, um, they're top-notch when it comes to hair dye. It's nothing but ground-up Scandavi skin. Scandinavian infant eyeballs. Probably. The bluest of the blue. <laughs> That's how you know. How did you know? That's how come it's so blue. It's actually, it looks so different on the camera than it does in real yeah, life. Yeah, it looks wanna, blue on camera. Let me see if, I, if it looks different if I put a... Yeah. Not really. It's more turquoise. Oh, it still looks way more blue on the picture. Yeah, Let's sit over here against the white and see okay. if it looks different. It still looks way more blue. Yeah. It's weird. It's it's much more bright. Yeah. Uh, I wouldn't even quite call it turquoise, but more like... I don't know what color you call that, but I guess it's turquoise. But it's... Uh, I said turquoise first, but... Yeah, it's... What do you think? There's another... I don't think there is another color that exactly matches that color, except it it very it has a lot of pop to it, you know. It's called aquamarine. Thanks, Tech Girl Tiff. Happy Tuesday to you too. Uh, it, it does look teal. Teal's a color close to it. Yeah. Yeah, next to the green screen, it looks completely blue. But I'm telling you, it is not. It's. The color of the brand name, it's Ar Arctic Fox Aquamarine. Yeah. And this is, this is, I haven't washed my hair yet. So, um, it will look even more different when... When I, um, yes, you're right, Running Fox with cold water. Um, it will, I'm actually looking forward to it fading out because the, it'll get more brighter. Um, I could have diluted it with, uh, so they have their own diluter, um, Arctic Fox has their own diluter, but you can also dilute the color with, white colored conditioner and it'll turn like um like the happy tuesday color that tech girl tiff color green like greenish yeah green greenish blue anyway thank you so much for the uh compliments i appreciate it Now, what, uh, what color is your natural hair color, Tech Girl Tiff? Yeah. 
Yeah. You can't play with the color. It's semi-permanent. It's not permanent, so as I wash it out, it'll it'll get lighter. And um, I like that. But it's not like Man of Panic. It's so much better than Man of Panic. I've done Man of Panic before. Man of Panic dyes everything. Your hands are like... It dyes everything, and it lasts only like two or three washes. Arctic Fox. I've used Arctic, Arctic Fox before, and I colored my hair pink, and it lasted for like a month. No, I I did bleach my hair because I wanted it to be the most true color. Or, you know, close to it. I got only, a, I got close to it. I would say that I got up to number seven when I dyed my hair blonde. Yeah. Dirty blonde is pretty. Don't do it yourself then, Running Fox. Get it done professionally. It's totally worth it. And you can um, bring your... Bring the dye yourself. Actually, just have the person bleach your hair. Get it done, like, professionally wherever you go. Um, like, someone you trust. You should even, like, honestly, if you're going to make a call, phone call, be like, hey, I'm thinking about bleaching my hair. Can I get, like, someone who is a professional when it comes to bleaching? The, the guy or girl who's at the counter should know. Like... So, um, I, ha I have really, okay, so I have fine, thick, but, um, plentiful hair. So my hair is very thin, but I have a lot of it. So I can play with my hair. Um, I can play with my hair a lot and it doesn't fall out, but everyone's hair is different. Um, but I will say that the Arctic Fox bleaching kit is so much safer than so many of the other, like, um, bleaching kits I've used. It's really, um, really, really good. It's 20 bucks. It's vegan. It uses natural products to use, like, to bleach your hair. You know, it does sting because it's still bleach, but it's, it's done in like a much different way, the bleaching. See, um, I know, I know a lot of people don't give a fuck if it's vegan, but this company does take a lot of pride in itself. And so like, I like knowing that I can dye my hair and this is not like hurting you know, it's not meant to, like, there's, it's cruelty-free. It usually means that it's, like, cruelty-free for us, too. It's not animal-tested. And there's no animal products used in it, either. So, like, the bleaching kit had, like, um, macadamia oil and, like, some other, like, natural found ingredients to bleach hair. Well, I mean, like, you know... Nothing is cool to see free. I mean, my hair was, I, the bleach that I used did sting. But, um, you know, I, I, I don't know. I just think it's cool that it doesn't have to be, uh, it's vegan. I just think it's cool. I don't care really either way about veganism. I, I've done it myself, so. <clears throat> but uh, it's a good company. It's a good company because they know hair. And um, they have a lot of different colors. The colors last really long. And um, they're just better better quality than uh, Man of Panic, in my own opinion. And if you're scared to dye your hair and you've never done it before, do a strand test or uh, get it done professionally. Like, I did it because my hair is... Uh, I was born with dirty blonde hair. Hey, I thought you were here. I 
have you ever seen Steven Universe? I think you and Eric might really dig that show together. It starts out simple and develops really well. You've got a smoky quartz vibe. Thanks. Actually, one of the first um, gems I ever got for myself was way back in like 2007. And I got myself a smoky quartz like pendant, little pendant. And it was like, it was uh, cool. Can you see the of course. Thanks. So, uh, pretty satisfying poop. I'm happy about that. Pretty satisfying. I actually forgot that it was a poop that you went to go do. I thought you went to get cigarettes. No. I forgot. Good for you. Yeah, very satisfying. I feel, I feel free. I feel free That's from the poop that was previously encumbering me. God, I love that feeling. Nothing is cruelty free, except kindness. Except for kindness. That's why we are from kindness around here. And I personally, Tiffany, think Yeah, so I'm like And I personally think Tiffany, it is very kind of you to bring that to our attention. Now Vegan Dancer says, please comment on an ISFP INFJ relationship I'm struggling. Do you want the good news, the bad news, or the bad news and then the good news? Can I give you the news too? Sure. Since I'm a INFJ with an ISFP cat. <laughs> the good news is this, vegan dancer. There's nothing wrong with you. And the bad news is there is something wrong with your relationship. And what is wrong with your relationship is that ISFPs and INFJs, well, Rachel, why won't, why won't it work, do you think? Well, I do study the socionics um, system. I It does have its flaws, but um, I have found that with the ISFP, INFJ, it's the beneficiary, benefit, benefit well, yeah. Beneficiary benefactor relationship. That's a tough relationship to, to maintain. Yeah. That's me and my dad. And that's when it's done right, where the proper person to be the benefact benefactor is the proper person to be benefactor, and the proper person to be the beneficiary is. You know, a father benefactor, son beneficiary. Yeah. That's it, when it's as good as it can get. It could be really good for friendship. Like, I had one of my oldest friends, I mean, I couldn't really trust, we couldn't really like trust each other with certain things. Like she was always late. Like I just knew her well. Um, and, and I would forgive her for those things. But uh, um, like she's one of my oldest friends. She's an ISFP. And um, yeah, so like I think as friendship, it could work out well. Um, but we, we stay in touch and then we don't stay in touch. We, it's like that. I said, "Peace have no words, just feels." Well, um, the the thing is, here's what happens: the one who's the beneficiary, when the circumstances are such that that the the student surpasses the master in any of those areas, it becomes a very uncomfortable relationship. Yeah. So, when you know, I had this friend Al Arino, and he and I. Uh, got along pretty well for quite a while, but um, it was very much a, a a TE frame of reference where he sort of like, no, Eric, not like that. Hey, Come on hey, in, Cameron. Hey. What's happening? Hey. Hey. Oh, oh, hey. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Um, hey. Just chatting. Um, yeah, doing a little live stream, and we got Talking some couple ISFP. of weeds. If you're interested in checking them out, we got oh this God, one right yeah. here, cool. and this one right here. Dude, I, I seriously am so interested in checking out different weeds that yeah. like I would throw all my weed away and start a can. Like <laughs> both of those, I think, are, yeah. are good and interesting. They are good. So this is oh, sky doggy. Vegan dancer. Let me tell you something. 
you have my permission to get out of the relationship. I encourage you to do it. It's going to hurt. Okay. That person's going to be hurt. Yeah. Yeah, 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 so, yeah. You have the world's permission. I want to say, just to comment on the relationship, um, in Sociana's, it is an asymmetrical relationship, meaning that there's, like, not much in common. Um, and I find that asymmetrical relationships are the most difficult to deal with, just going to say. Asymmetrical is tough. Asymmetrical. What's asymmetrical in a relationship mean? So, um, in socionics, it has a grid okay. that checks off um, with the cognitive functions. Mm -hmm. And asymmetrical means that it checks off that way. Like, mm -hmm. Okay, so it's not necessarily that, like... In art, asymmetry is like one thing's balanced over here and one thing's barely balanced over here. It's not like one person does everything. Then it's just a chart. Yeah, yeah, but but it does create the imbalance. Yeah, you're there's, right with that. There's more to it. There, there's there's a good there's a better explanation to why something asymmetrical or symmetrical or whatever. Yeah, but, he, it, he but I don't know. I, no, I actually don't know it either. Exactly. Oh. It's a socionics explanation that I don't ascribe to. So, but I mean, the thing is, I I like the way socionics names and describes the intertype relationships. Yeah. I do think in certain ways that they describe them are right. I yeah. don't, I don't have a good explanation as to their explanation of the mechanics. Yeah, so on, on the chart, it's it's a scale like that. The check marks go either this way or that way. Okay. And it means a unbalanced relationship. David Sanderson, go to that one. one person does have more power than the other. Yeah, I can't. I I can't lock. The uh, no. Go to but, this but one it, 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 it's like interesting because it can go on for like a while. Hmm. But I, I don't know. This is the first sticky weed I've had on my fingers, and I don't know how long. Like I'm gonna know I had this in two hours. Right, right. right? Was like, mentioned it was sticky as well. Yeah. This is a sticky. Yeah, sticky. this is the high octane right now. It is. Wow. That's awesome. Oh my god. I'm gonna be so happy. I haven't hit my own weed. Yeah. This is sticky like someone put goop on it. I wow, know. That's great. The high octane is when I went to Oregon, I got <laughs> that, like my ex girlfriend, friend, you. you know, grower, friend, whatever, like they got they gave me like I gave him fifty bucks. They gave me so much weed for the week, like, but it was so sticky. It was like, oh, I love. It was amazing. Weed. It was like the best week because of the weed. I think it may have yeah. a little bit more to do a lot of times with how dry it is than anything else. But um, uh, I like both those weeds we just got. Me too. I'm fond of them both. I'm trying the. So. I know where I'm going to so Dave Sanderson, well, now is probably not a good time to to try to type you. Just FYI, uh, um, but the thing is, uh, this room is the one that I can lock. Just also FYI. Um, so, anyways, um, Cameron, yeah, you see me do a lot of these sort of typing things before. What do you yeah. what do you think about all this typology stuff? I think uh, I'm fascinated by it. Like all my YouTube finally doesn't say Eric's naughty. It says Eric has a red button. It says live, and I'll go look at it. And like you're usually talking about something, I have no idea what you're talking about, and I don't know that I'll ever have any idea. Even though like the shit I know about, I totally know about it good. So. I just know my brain's not organized to get this. Even though I have, like, a psychology degree I got on purpose, like, I just don't, I can't, if only they called, like, SI, like, pleasure, or called FE fucking, or whatever it is, <laughs> like, I don't know what it is, but, like, I'm just not good with two-letter stuff. Like, I know my Camaros. I know my, like, SS Camaro. I know my... Honda Accord DX, which is the lower model, but like I just, I don't know. I can't make that things. much head <laughs> head and tail of this stuff because it's like I would have to practice and memorize it in a way that I think you, Eric, 
your brain just automatically like loves this stuff, lives on it. And I know you use it like for good. For me, I'm like, I wish I, I just wish I could like be in your brain for a minute and know what this stuff was, but I don't know what the fuck it is, Eric. I'm like, don't get it. I don't get it. Dave Sanderson, <laughs> I want, somebody asked, do you have any questions for Cameron? Um, I, Winston's mom asked that. And specifically, I want to frame that question in the following way. If you were typing Cameron, what questions would you ask him? Pretend to type Cameron, if you don't mind, if you feel like it. That's, that's tough. I didn't develop the system, so... I mean, I can't really think of any good tests at the top of my head. All right. If I, okay, well, yes, then... I, wanna, I want you to address this question. If you were me trying to best ascertain how to establish your introverted intuition, whether where it is in the stack, what would you recommend to me to try? Um, I don't know, uh, like maybe like a patterns test or something. Good answer. Good answer. That is a good, good answer. answer. Good that answer. Is... There it says. Good answer. Number number one oh, or two okay. answer on the board, maybe. I'm not sure. Okay, vegan dancer. Let's talk about your suffering and emotional pain. I'm now. So, what's going on? We're bouncing back and forth between topics. That's what. Um, vegan dancer is in a deep and serious bout of suffering. Why? Because she's an INFJ who has to leave somebody. Is that very difficult for you to cause the emotional pain to the other person to see them? But I don't want you to leave me. Well, I'm sorry. I have to leave you, honey, because <coughs> I'm a vegan dancer. Cruelty <coughs> <coughs> free. And, and you a pork-filled hip-hop beat. Hmm? Just tell him that. I'm sorry, honey, but while I am a vegan dancer... You are a pork-filled hip-hop beat. It's a very poetic way to say goodbye. Don't you think so? Yes. Are you destined for unhappiness and dissatisfaction in all relationships? Um, Rachel seems happy. <laughs> yes, I'm very happy. I don't think you do either, Dave Sanderson. Um, I was taken aback by that question. Let's see. Ooh, hands so cold. It says here, um, are you happy writing Fox or are all INFJs destined for dissatisfaction in relationships? Of course, if in fact Rachel were dissatisfied in her relationship, oh. she probably wouldn't, she probably would still, probably wouldn't be immediately obvious, I guess. she probably try to mix talking about that publicly. Um, At first, maybe? I don't know. Maybe not in this context. I'm so happy. I'm lucky I met an ENTP. I, I'm lucky. And actually, um, I love learning about the cognitive functions actually through Eric. Because I didn't, mm -hmm. I knew MBTI, but I didn't know of uh, Jung's like slots with the cognitive functions. Mm -hmm. So, um, and I'm into like the Enneagram too. So I looked him up. Well, actually, I looked up <laughs> famous people with seven wing eight, and then his video came up. I didn't have anything to do with the famous person, but I learned mm -hmm. something. So it was cool. <laughs> so, Cameron, yes. do you think you are easy to make happy in a relationship or hard mm -hmm. to make happy in a relationship? Um, That's a good question. I would say easy, but I'm actually super crane the ass. In what way? I have my hypersensitivities that, like, if I'm in someone else's space, I don't care what's there. It's temporary. It's whatever, you know? But if I'm, in, like, be in a relationship with someone and spend a million hours with them in the same space and share the same, like, experiences, then instead of, like, being at work, it's not that doing relationships is like doing work. Like I come over and hang out with you guys. It's cool. Like I, there's nothing I would change about like, Oh my God, I can't believe you have the blonde clip. There's no like thing that I need to change right now. But like at Kara's house, 
I would say, I'm sorry, we just can't have a scented candle going right here. It's driving me crazy. You know, like yesterday I said, do we really, do we need to have this air purifier on right now? May I say that I feel you dog because I just went and took a poo in that bathroom. <laughs> and I'm not sure how it came to smell this way, but there's a certain urinal cake smell that I hate, you know? Yeah. yeah. That, uh, I don't know if my I, I I I know my dad went in there earlier, mm -hmm. and he may have done something that makes it smell like I, that. Unless you. Did oh no, something. I did. Oh, I did. did. Okay. It was me. The spray, the I used the Lysol. The toilet bowl like, thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. Is that a cleaner or is that a smell? No, it's a cleaner. There's it's nothing the wrong cleaner. with that. No, no, no. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. There's All nothing right. wrong with it because, of course, it's appropriate for its context. You know, you're supposed to have smell smell like cleaning stuff in the bathroom. Um, and I'm in the process of still cleaning that bathroom. I plan to clean it some more because we had to, um, when I took out the tiles, um, concrete dust got all over everything. Like it's like the whole bathroom's coated in concrete dust. So, I think you did a really good job cleaning it. I mean, I just super barely have ass cleaned up the bathtub. I, I'm actually going to do a good job of cleaning it. Are you doing tile? Uh, I took out some tiles, some tiles to get to the plumbing. You want to go oh, look at it? We'll go look at sure. it a little bit. I think you'll be intrigued. And I'm not a plumber. So I everyone's know. like, well, of course Cam's an electrician and plumber. I'm not. Like, I just play with, like, I would. You should look at it. I want to see what we'll you. There's also a ghost light in mm. the shower. It's sometimes on and it's sometimes not. And for <laughs> no reason. Right? I would the be ghost so light? rich. I would, I would be rocking the fucking bitchiness monster truck outside if I was an electrician or a plumber. My truck would be taller than your house. Seriously. That's a tall nice. truck. That is a tall truck. I would be on eight foot tires if I was an electrician. Ooh, I'm just not. So vegan dancer, how's he taking it? Is Quietly? this happening right now? He's beyond broken. Well, look. The thing is, you gotta remember, there's no such thing as a good one-sided relationship. Mm -hmm. So it's not like he's he's being denied a good relationship. Yeah, because he would end up resenting you at some point. Or even if he didn't, it would couldn't possibly be healthy. No. You know, it's not. No, it, one-sided is not healthy. He's not loving you in a healthy way. If uh, if in fact it's. Uh, he wants you to stay despite the fact that you don't want to stay, you know? Yeah, that's not love. All right. That's more like, as they say in uh, Bojack Horseman, it's more like a hostage situation. Mm -hmm. One thing I've noticed about you two guys is, um, like, you didn't just show up and not, you, not, you're not able to talk about this stuff that I can't. Eric and I have been growing up for over five years. Like, I can't talk to him about IST. Like, I can't. We can't have a conversation about it. You guys can't. And I, I turned into the channel the other night, like, said it was live. And you were, it was only you and Rachel. I'm pointing at Rachel, internet friends. And you're, like, talking about the stuff. You're, like, just talking about, you're, like, well, in sociology, blah, blah, blah. I heard you the other day. Thank you. And, like... So I see you guys as really complimenting each other in that you totally bro out on the same shit. Yeah, we do. That's not everyone can bro out on. All these folks at home are lucky they found this spot, but like, yeah, you know, you guys are a little sucked. Yeah. With the universe. So, and that was brought helped by the internet, by YouTube. It's um, only the internet that causes all these little like tiny factions in the world that yeah. means so much to us. Like, yeah. I don't know how much it means to you and everyone there like this exists. Like uh, Winston's mom for sure is like always on the video. Oh my gosh. Uh, exactly. I, I wish I had a picture of Winston's mom so I could get like an idea of who Winston's mom like I see these names and I don't like categorize it. She's like a cross between Bette Midler and Jennifer Aniston and um, Mariah Carey. She seems to be like the that best is. person. Like, uh, never has a comment like, "Well, Eric's just a stupid dick." It's always no, like, you so know, encouraging. It's always useful information. Like, like an awesome person. What's Winston? You should just have a show about Winston's mom. What's Winston's mom's 
What's his mom's type? Um, INTJ. Mm -hmm. INT is that what your dad is? No, my dad's an ESTJ. Yes. Oh, that's right. Vegan but Dancer INTJ's says. Vegan Dancer says we have two of the most incredible children ever. What she doesn't mention is that she has four children. <laughs> um, the other two, well, we don't talk about them. They're uh -oh. awful. <laughs> they are absolute terrors. Wow. Yeah. Sorry to hear that. Yeah, Vegan Dancer's family is, is strange like that. She's got two gold, just perfect it's golden high achieving great. children and just two delinquents. She only mentions the first two of her. Okay. I'm sure your husband, if... Um, we also had weed in common. That was a huge deal. Like, um, yeah. the first time that I saw him break out the torch, I'm like, oh, this dude definitely smokes weed. <laughs> yeah. And I was... I, but I never actually landed on a video where he was smoking weed. Like I had no real, I, I had an inkling. I was like, I just matched those things for some reason. Yeah. Um, and then, yeah, sure enough, um, I, I guess. At some point you must have. We, we talked about it. No, yeah. well, I mean, at some point you must have seen me in a live stream yeah. or something. Yeah, live stream, live stream. Uh, he was talking about uh, C.S. Uh, Joseph, like, discrediting you because you smoke weed. And I was like, I fuck that yeah. shit. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I was like, fuck. Oh, yeah, right. yeah, exactly. It was like, well, screw you, dude. Like, what the fuck? So, yeah. like, um, yeah. Like, we definitely bonded over weed. That's the great. That's okay. Eric, have you done a video on relationships and weed or like compatibility and weed? Because I think that's the most like big time legit thing that in a way it's obvious, but like it's kind of a big deal about it. It's, I think it's a great topic. I, uh, you know, Cameron, I think you're right, actually. Uh, because I, I got stories about all my relationships with weed, how like it caused a problem. They're like, yeah, I don't like this shit. Me too. You know? Yeah. It is not fun because it's not a big deal. <laughs> but I don't like how you are after. <laughs> it's like <laughs> I don't like how you so are without way. it. I just say that's yeah. her. I don't like how you are without it. But you're oh, that is a really good comeback. <laughs> that's a, that's a good one. It is. <laughs> no, it, it it's. And to me, in my opinion, at this point, it's like dumbo shit. You know, like who who cares? You know, it's like the the stuff. Like we're lucky we've gotten some good weed lately. But like sometimes you get like like nothing. You feel like nothing even with it. And yeah. you know, so like whatever. Yeah. You could also go quit police in my head, bitch. Yeah. That would also. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. really, yeah. Quit police in my head. Sometimes you just need to like cloud a little bit. True. I used to ride a motorcycle back 20 years ago that was a, Eric, maybe you know, two-stroke motorcycle, which means it's got extra smoke. Hey, David. Hi. Oh, I've got yeah, no, me, oh, me yeah. and David business. I'm on hey. hold, so. Well, thank you. Uh, I'll, okay, cool. 300 for the yeah. future stuff. Can I, cool. Can we get off here now? Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll okay. see you in a bit. Okay. I did know about that conjunction actually, Winston's mom. Right now, I'm How talking cool. about it just, uh, just yesterday, I think. Yeah, just yesterday. Um, I got accused of smoking weed because I rode my motorcycle 20 years ago because the motor <laughs> because it made me smell like smoke. Riding my motorcycle made me smell, and I got accused and in a fight. And you know the fight where well, I don't know what you guys would fight about, but like. You know how one could fight and the, the fight is about, but I didn't do this. It didn't even happen. Why am I such a victim? Really? We've done you know? yes. Why? We I didn't, it. didn't. Something never happened. <laughs> and I'm literally having to be like in a court pleading my case about a thing that didn't fucking happen. Oh my God. Thank you. Mm. Yes. Face palm, like for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Vegan Dancer says, thanks, Triple X. Yes, now that you're divorced, Vegan Dancer, you'll finally be able to pursue your career in Triple X pornography. <laughs> and I'm sure we're all, we're all looking forward to you sharing some links with us. Okay. Oh, my God. 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 Oh, my
Okay. Judging <laughs> by the name, they sound like they'll be really good. <laughs> yeah. They're not called like balloon animals with clowny. <laughs> you know, someone whose name is balloon animals with clowny, they that might not the be so immediately can't. into porn as like automatic. Oh my god, like what a fucking interesting <laughs> porn thing that would be. I would oh, probably watch there. it for hours. You know like, it's out there. But if not, you guys have something to do. I don't want to do it that much. It's not good. Of course, my work. I'm I, always like afraid. I think I did see someone that I know, like, and I immediately was like, "Oh fuck!" Like, no. Oh, that would just ruin it. I did ruin it. Ruin it it did. She was like, "I don't know." I mean, I'm not surprised, <laughs> but I was surprised. I was like, "Oh shit." This is the moment because a lot of people have it happen. Oh like they see like high school people like in porn and stuff, and then it gets like rumored out, you know. Um, and you I was here actually, and like I saw like her face, and I was like, "Oh my god!" Like I like basically like threw my phone away. I was like, Michelle. Oh. Oh, one of your friends, uh, Michelle, went into porn? Yeah. Mm. It's not surprising. It's, it, I mean, it, it totally was heading that way. So. Mm. How old was she when? She's when? like, uh, she's like two, th two, three years older than me. I don't know when it happened. I fucking don't know. I don't talk to her anymore. Not she when she was 14 or something. No, 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 no. She no, was no. like over 18. No, no, sense. no. Yeah. Yeah, she's like. I gotta wonder though that every kid who has got like a cell phone of any age, like there have got to be people doing like what would constitute crimes, but they're just like 12, 17 year old kids doing what like they would do with the phone. But I would imagine there are some videos out there that could have some big problems. Who needs a review of options? Vegan dancer? <laughs> Hey, there's nothing wrong with it. it I, I'm not condemning or Option judging the person. Number, no, no, that's the thing that's oh. not going. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Because she said XXS me, meaning like kiss, kiss, kiss. Oh, you know, like, I thought she really meant X I fox too. I, I wasn't judging. I'm like, so. hey, whatever. I don't think she did. <laughs> no, she didn't. Um, I didn't either. When I named my AIM name, you know, AOL Instant Messenger name, X, X Rachel X. That was a, a bad idea. That was bad effie. Yeah. Okay, so um, big an answer. I'm gonna give you a few go tos that are sure to work. Okay. Number one, try this one. Hang in there, champ. Okay, I want you to try that one on your husband. Uh, also, hey. You're stronger than this. Try that. And try this one. Honey, you are not thinking about all the pussy you're going to get. <laughs> That'll put a smile on his face. Okay. Try those three. See if they work. That's really good advice. Thanks, darling. This should be like an advice. You should have like a segment called Advice from uh, Dr. Eric Strauss. You are a metaphysician. Licensed. I didn't put the doctor in quotes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> doctor Eric Strauss. <laughs> and like a doc tour. Like you just like tour a lot of places so, so like you could have like half a doctorate, but you don't have enough information to do the whole thing. What if I do like a French spelling, like D-O-C-T-E-U-R, Docteur Eric Strauss? Ooh, I like, like that. Le Docteur, how would it be in like... The Docteur de Metaphysique. Ooh! <laughs> <laughs> speaking that accent the whole time, you would get so many annoyed fans. The other, thing, <laughs> the other thing you could do, Big and Dancer, is try to already have one of your friends or somebody you know in mind for him to hook, to hook him up with. That's what a lot of they seem to do for uh, when you're quitting a job too. Actually, yeah. hey. after jobs, they say that uh, like if you're gonna turn down a 
done a part to recommend like other people who might be good for the job. Like when he's really, yeah. like when he's really sad, say, "Okay, let's let's go have let's go have a quiet dinner someplace." Go sit down. <laughs> Susie, is that you? Susie, come come join us. Then, mm-hmm. Excuse me, I'm going to the bathroom, and then let him start weeping onto her, right? Yeah. Before you know, she's gonna be like, "Oh yeah, I'm weeping all over you. I'm ISFPing <laughs> the shit out of you," and she's gonna be like, "Oh my god, you're so sensitive, and yet oddly masculine in your lack of words." Mm-hmm. I don't want to have sexual intercourse with you. <laughs> That's how it's gonna go down. And then you're gonna be like, "Yeah, now I feel bad because I'm like." He's having sex and I'm single. <laughs> and you're gonna come back and complain about that, but you won't have that. Won't be a big problem for you because you know they'll be like every every male around here who's single will be like, uh, hey, yo, over here, homegirl. Oh, so you know. ISFP do have good taste in music. They have good taste in anime. I tell you who has great taste in anime. Yeah, Octavia ISFP, Silva. Yeah. Yeah, and um, you're. I, I like uh, Ghibli studio stuff. That was in your ISFPX. Four, four, four. Make a wish. Yay! Let's all wish for a happy, peaceful divorce for vegan dancer. Yeah, me too. I really do. Right, so please have to have big titties. I think every type has big titties. <laughs> I mean, ISFPs have all big titties because they buy them. I do know. I do know. Sorry. Ooh, you hear that sass? That whiplash sass? That's my NI. You hear that, ISFPs? You got served. You got served. <laughs> <laughs> y'all, y'all naturally small breasted. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. They can jog. They can jog. They Seriously. Can wear, they could wear like the long ass like shirts mm-hmm. and like mm-hmm. not be adje- objectified. True. Right. It's nice. A lot of advantages in not well, growing with, up. With fashion, growing other up. than that, yeah, totally. like, I'm happy that I have <laughs> my boots. I, I, I had to learn early on to just stand up for us and say, hey, <laughs> stop staring at my tits. <laughs> I do stare. You know, I. T- <laughs> He's such a feminist. Uh, we used to get our shirts in like Finally elementary did. school when we were learning. Like what things are, and you take you take and you twist your fabric so it made little like mosquito bites on it. You twist it like this, yeah, and then your shirt has a little like booby on. It doesn't work oh with this fabric, gosh, but with no like way. a cotton shirt. Yeah, 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 the boys would do this to oh, their own shirt. Funny. Just oh, Eric, look at Eric. Eric did perfect. Oh my gosh! Like that's. Do you remember in junior high, Eric? Did you do that or like elementary just to be like a, elementary? I think I was fifth, sixth grade. Really. Yeah. Sort of like, hey, look, I got this. I had no <laughs> idea. I... It's, it's kind of like a rip on all the girls. It's sort of like, ha ha, <laughs> you're only in sixth grade or whatever. Wow, I had never experienced like that. Hmm. Yeah. East Coast, West Coast. Yeah, I guess maybe. <laughs> they don't want anyone else. They want the one they have found. Surely you were not talking about ISFPs running Fox. ISFPs resist temptation, perhaps, more or less successfully, but it is not the case that they only want the one that they love. ISFPs so, are very are very lustful. It's a J12. Um, my hair is pretty dark now. It's, I'm telling you, I'm, I'm, it's going to get rooty. It's going to get sooty. I'm not going to put black on it. It's going to look like my eyebrow color. We're not a root smudge family. <laughs> okay, we don't yeah. do root smudge. No. That's an East Coast thing. Diet now that she's in California, we only do a West out. Coast style. There's no root smudge. <laughs> Here on the West Coast, we don't do that. I'm so glad. James, good point. Yo, I don't, I Replace like the word posts, some honestly. with many, perhaps even most. This one seems to suit me more. We'll probably still be successful. 
No, that's close to the time. I've like I wanted know. to be in California since I was like six. So. I, you know, whenever I went to the East Coast, it was like uncomfortable to be there. Like, because of weather. Well, not, like really. too many people. <laughs> you can get too many people. people out here too. Yeah. Depends where you're going. Yeah. The I, great. I like them both. Um, I like uh, North America. I'm not the American person. I wanted to say I appreciated Legends Falls comment yesterday from the live stream. I didn't see it until I watched it later, but uh, he said, if I'm not wearing a mask and somebody comes up and says something, I say, it's illegal for you to ask me about that. And then he <laughs> seemed to accept it and go away. <laughs> because, no, of course, nobody knows what the rules are, right? And no clarity about it at all. Winston's mom asks, what is Cameron doing for Thanksgiving? I was just reading that. I was like multitasking. Winston, mom, I am going with my girlfriend to my parents' house, and we are like eating at opposite sides of the table. She hasn't been coming over that much for dinner, but that's mostly because my stepdad's an asshole, um, not because of COVID as much, but we're doing the Thanksgiving. But what we're doing right now is we're making a life-size Kara out of photos, out of like one, two, three, four photos. And I, I spray glued them, you know, using that spray can glue stuff, stuck them on cardboard. Um, oh, laminated them, then trimmed them, then stuck them on cardboard, trimmed the cardboard. It's got a foot on it, so it sits. And she's going to drop it off to her mom who can't see her because of COVID or whatever. Aww. But we made a whole thing that can be sprayed and wiped down that's a physical Kara representation. I'm, like, blown away. It's Kay. like, oh, let me show you the picture. It's pretty freaking badass. Like, yeah, I'm... I'm Cameron's stepdad is a character, for sure. <laughs> Email Anthrax. Eric, tell Cameron I think he's sexy. I want to see him in a oh bikini. Oh, my God. Cameron's That's sexy. so impressive. Isn't it freaking awesome? And there she is. So I got a <laughs> whole, like, photo shoot of this crazy thing. Um, not the... Anyway. Wow. It sits on the table. It's, like, super badass. Oh, my badass. gosh. It's That's... so cute. It's pretty cool. And it's laminated, Nicely so her mom done. can be paranoid about shit and spray it down. Because, like, her mom's paranoid as fuck. Aww. Like, I can't say a word to her about her mom, but her mom's, like, take... Do you have a laminating machine? Kara has one. Kara has a laminating machine. Turn them out roses. So we laminate stuff all the time. Whoa, really? Oh, yeah. Laminating's the bomb. No, so I... Your, give me your stuff. I'll laminate it. I want to get my I have, like, a hundred... How many is it? Uh, Let me see. It's a big job. Is it? Yeah, it's oh, going to take yeah, a long time. Having been a I teacher, could, I've laminated things. That's, that's kind of a big job. Actually. I could do probably whatever. It doesn't four per to get it page. Properly or whatever. But I could do it. It's, it would just take a little time. It's no big deal. Um, send them with me and okay. I'll do it. Yeah, we have the sleeves and then this, you know, you get more sleeves for like a couple dollars. It's, like it's kind of a big job. I mean, that's going to take a long time. Take a while. Do you think I should get it professionally done? I think it makes more sense instead of laminating your cards to just replace them and they get. Old. No, they don't make them anymore. Oh. Yeah. Um, we'll think about it as possible. Yeah, okay, we'll think about it. Yeah. yeah. Um, uh, I mean, like, they don't make them anymore, it's, and, like, I use them a lot. Maybe we should get a laminating machine or so. Yeah. Awesome. This is the other thing. Well, look at this robot that interrupted That's me That's really today. cool. There's no human doing that. Well, what's it doing? It's it's cleaning the wash next to where I'm smoking weed at Kara's patio, but like this robot came along. It's got a diesel motor, so it's noisy. And, it's just and that's like a robot. professional dude. Like... Is it like a drone or? It's a remote control, Bluetooth remote control uh, skid steer with um, bulldozer sort of like attachment and it just like can clean, it, it does what like 10 men would do really awesome. It's freaking Never badass. seen those before. Interesting. Yeah, isn't The world's it? different now. Like imagine, I'm not a bulldozer driver, I am a remote control technician who understands 
way bigger set of stuff than bulldozing, you know, for the modern era. Um, did you see what emailed Anthrax says? Eric, tell Cameron that I think he is sexy and I want to see him in a bikini. I'm <laughs> sure he knows I'm very a masculine man. <laughs> okay. There you go. Right, email Anthrax. I'm pulling a card for you. Okay. Sounds good. Hey, you and everybody else emailed Anthrax. That's what I have to say. It is I, the King of Swords. <laughs> That's a good card. It is a good card. It's the card of your deck. Yeah. I'll put, do you want me to pull one for you? Oh, totally. Cool. You're going to fall out. Let's see. see what Cameron gets. Partnership, vision, path, plan. The two of rods. <laughs> two of rods. Sound like good words. Yeah, he, the dude is holding the world in his hand. Yeah. Nice. And he has his stuff. He's like, I have this science thing. I have this. I could either do science with or smack you on the head. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Or I could be all wasted and not fall or something. Yeah, he is on a, uh, he is in a tower when he's looking in like the old, like the old ones. Mm -hmm. This is like a take on the deck. What's on my mind, Running Fox? Um, my question, Mark. Uh, just I guess basically SI stuff. Uh, I was thinking about how I am running out of energy, you know. Dude, should we get the tacos? Uh, Ray Sign went to the subway not that long ago. Oh, okay. We can uh, keep on smoking this weed. Yeah, we'll keep smoking this weed. <laughs> um, I just, um, I was thinking maybe I'll probably oh yeah I'll probably stop the stream pretty soon because I don't I don't have a lot of of energy things to say vanity yeah uh, vegan dancers in England good night England good night England sleep well in your British your British beds with your British accents good luck with the, your your WCs uh, newfound singleness. Your lorries and your flats. Your pants, which means underwear. Your perambulators, which means baby buggies. Baby buggies. Ooh. Your, uh, your MOT. That's, you have to drive a car, you need an MOT. All right, vegan dancer, I'm going to do a special poll for you. A poll I did for me and Rachel the other day. This poll here, don't go to bed yet. Hold on, vegan dancer. Stay here. One second. Uh oh. Okay. Uh oh. He's got a pull. He's got a pull. I do the, the organs pull. Okay. <laughs> so. Oh, yeah. This first this first poll is for your liver. <laughs> this represents <coughs> that. <coughs> that which. That which cleans out your. Metaphysical system. What cleans you out your metaphysical system is the Knight of Cups. What's the Knight of Cups represent here? The next, the next gentleman caller who shall darken your doorway. The, the, the future man in your life. The Knight of Cups means you drink a lot of red wine. You get out of those whatever cups, you know. And into something more comfortable. Cup, D cup, D cup, whatever it may be. It's Knight of Cups. Okay. Nine of cups, yeah. Don't sure. puke get, in a cup. get out of that cup. Just a few cups of red wine so you don't have to use the cup for now. Yeah, next... yeah, because it is the liver too. So next for vegan dancer we've got the uh, the bile producing, the gallbladder. Yeah. The source of anger and frustration. The emperor. I wonder if that represents maybe her soon to be ex husband. Yeah. Who's too long been an emperor? But she just needs instead a regular old Knight of Cups. I agree with you, David Sanderson. I agree. Now, next we have the stomach. El stomaco, as they say in Spanish. This, she's not even here anymore. I don't think it doesn't matter. This is her vegan dancer. El stomaco. Well, maybe she'll come back. El estomaco. 
This is also known as Place of the or Frogs. Watch it. Place of the Frogs, okay? Is another way to put it. The Fool. The Fool. So what does the stomach represent? What does the frog represent? Well, that depends. Uh, it can mean the thing that you need to eat in order to be full. Hi, Dad. Hey, howdy. How's it going? And then, here, why don't you go? I'll, I'll turn this off in a second if you want to talk. Uh, just, about. okay. Yeah. Just, uh, oh, sure. go. Cool. Uh, yeah. Sorry about that. It was Kaiser again. Oh, it's fine.